Linguistics is useful for anybody wanting to develop a sensitivity to language and to how people use it to make meaning in society. Coming to university is a decision you have made to explore the world around you, perhaps the world of science, of economics, of beauty, culture and aesthetics, and of course, your world in language. We use language at every day of every moment to catch a taxi, order breakfast, read the news, tweet, organize protests, to complain, promise, flirt, hustle, and perhaps even to save lives. We navigate our world using language. In fact, we create our world with language. So you signed up for linguistics and applied language studies, and maybe you're wondering how to get started. Well, in this lecture, we'll cover the basics of the Linguistics One course, the modules, and what they entail. I will also speak a little bit about the careers that our own graduates have found themselves in and how linguistics might fit into the context of your own career plans. Practically, what does linguistics entail? In linguistics, you'll be doing two different modules or topics concurrently. Each module entails one video lecture, which you must prepare before the question and answer session with the lecturer every week. There will be one question and answer session at 9.35s on Mondays and another question and answer session with the other lecturer at 11.25 on Wednesdays. In addition, for each module there is a tutorial to prepare. To prepare for the tutorial there will be a tutorial reading which you can download from the relevant section of Are You Connected? At the end of that chapter there are a number of questions which you can work through in order to test your own understanding and to explore some of the issues in the chapter in a bit more detail. You will have a chance to discuss these online with one of our tutors on Tuesdays and Thursdays. On Tuesdays the tutorials will relate to the Monday module and on Thursdays the tutorials will relate to the Wednesday module. There will be tutorials run from 9 a.m. to 12.30 on these days. Please make sure that you are able to log in and have the discussion. Also bear in mind that if you cannot log in at exactly those times, these are asynchronous platforms. And what that means is that you can log in at any time, you can answer a question at any time or post a new question at any time. So there's no need to be live on the forum at those particular times. However, our tutors are committed to be online during those times if you do want a live discussion. When it comes to assessments, every week there will be a formative assessment of some kind for each of your modules. Uh, this will probably take the form of a quiz or an online submission on Are You Connected? Please make sure that you do these formative assessments as they are really important to help you engage with the work more deeply, but also to get a good course mark. Each of the formative assessments will be available for the whole week so that you've got time to think about it and submit something sensible. At the end of the semester, in June and November, we will have summative assessments. This will take the form of either uh, an essay or a test for each of the modules that you've covered in that particular semester. If you are wondering about textbooks, we don't require any textbook reading. We provide all the readings in the form of tutorial manuals which are also provided in PDA format on Are You Connected for you to download. However, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try and find out more about some of the topics that we cover. And the more you read and the more you think about each of the topics, the more confident you will become. Like many things in life, what you put in is probably a good indication of what you can expect to get out. How this all fits together this year in Term 1, for the Monday, Tuesday module, you'll be looking at the sounds of language with Will Bennett. And Wednesday, Thursday module will cover language in South African society taken with Kelly Killian. In term two, we'll be looking at the structure of language with myself, Mark DeForce. And you'll also be looking at language in childhood with Tracy Probert. In term three, Ian Seeberger will be taking you for language in the media and Mbali Gianni will be exploring meaning making with language. In term four, the Monday Tuesday module will cover an introduction to African linguistics with Professor Ron Simango. And on the Wednesday Thursday module, you'll be looking at language and context with Gwen Ortman. In the linguistics department, we provide a student centric learning approach, which means that we provide you with an opportunity to debate, engage, disagree, work out your own responses, try out new ideas and develop friendships, and these will largely take place in tutorials. Our question and answer sessions are also an excellent place to 
Ask your lecturer about various issues or topics that may be interesting to you. Our assignments are scaffolded and we afford low stakes assessment opportunities every week. If you do have questions, we are always available, but the most important person is probably Mrs. Vuyokazi Nkai, who is our office administrator. We use a variety of online learning platforms that promote engagement, which goes well beyond merely looking at videos. For our question and answer and tutorial sessions, we will be using Slack. There is a link on the screen that you can click on to sign up. On our Are You Connected general information and notice board page, there's also a short video tutorial that explains how you can connect to Slack and the various forums relating to Linguistics One. Having mentioned Are You Connected, this is probably the most important learning platform, not only for linguistics, but for all your Rhodes University courses. This is how you can connect to the Linguistics One pages on Are You Connected. Go to areyouconnected.ru.ac.za and click on Home and scroll down to all courses and click on that. Then scroll down to the linguistics module and click on linguistics one, then go to linguistics notice board general information and there's a variety of important information you'll find there. Look at the student handbook for 2021. This contains a lot of very important information about everything you might need to know for linguistics, including the number of lectures, tutorials, and various notes on those. You can also find out how to connect to Are You Connected? And very importantly, uh, our Slack, an online teaching and discussion forum that we use very heavily for our Linguistics One. There's also an online guide on how to join the Linguistics One Slack channel. And if you click it, you'll get to a YouTube video that will explain specifically how to, make, how to link to Linguistics One. You can also link to each of the various modules in Linguistics One by clicking on the picture links. And each of those picture links will take you to another Are You Connected course related to that particular module. Let's take a few moments to talk about linguistics and your own career. One of the most common questions people ask, not only about linguistics, but about all university courses is, so what are you gonna do with that? Or what kind of a job will you find in this area? Now, at the outset, I'd like to suggest that maybe this is the wrong question to ask. Sure, you could have followed a very specific course about hairdressing, plumbing, web design, or programming cryptocurrencies. Each of those types of courses would have prepared you for a specific career. But unfortunately, the days when you got a job at one company and stayed at that company for 40 years and called that your career, are long over. It is likely that you will change your career at least three times, if not more. And that means that it's important to prepare yourself with a variety of flexible intellectual tools that will last you for each of your careers. In fact, with the speed that technology is changing our world, it is very likely that you are preparing for careers that have not even been invented yet. For example, in the early 2000s, it was estimated that 80% of jobs in the biogenetics area had not even been conceived of just 10 years prior to that. And I can attest to this from personal experience. When I was doing my degree in the 90s, web browsers hadn't even been invented yet. There were no HTML programmers. There were no bloggers. There were no web designers. Citizen journalism was not a thing. Becoming a YouTuber or a career influencer was not on anybody's radar. Running small businesses online, selling products on Facebook, Biddlebuy, Gumtree, and the many careers in data science were not even anticipated at that stage. So for these reasons, it is important that you prepare yourself with general intellectual tools that are transferable or applicable to a variety of careers. What you are doing at Rhodes University is choosing subjects and majors that will be the building blocks of your future career. So when you choose linguistics, you are choosing something like a brick of your career. A brick by itself doesn't look very impressive, but it is a multi-purpose tool with which one can build the dreams of the architect. In the same way, when you choose linguistics or any other subject at Rhodes University, 
What you're doing is collecting the bricks with which you will build your future career and give effect to your dreams. My advice to you would be play to your strengths and your passions. If you enjoy a subject or you think you might enjoy it, take it. Invest in it. See where it leads you. Because you might not even have dreamt about the opportunities that might come your way or where you might ultimately end up in your career. That said, linguistics is directly relevant to many careers and indirectly to even more. For instance, linguistics is relevant to journalism, advertising, editing and publishing. It is relevant to law, plain language consulting, interpretation of text. It is important for language teaching, both at school, tertiary education, and in English second language or foreign language contexts. Linguistics is important in language policy and work that government might find itself involved in, such as literacy. Of course, you could also become a professor, lecturer, or a researcher if you do linguistics. And there are many other types of language practitioners, such as translators, interpreters, and speech therapists. Linguistics also has an outlet in information technology through natural language processing, automated translation, speech-to-text technology, etc. And that means that linguistics is an excellent major to go along with other university subjects such as journalism, law, education, politics, psychology, language or literature, and computer science, to name just a few. Our graduates work in a variety of communication and language fields. For example, Nkabili Msormi is a lecturer and PhD scholar. Amy Richardson is a teacher at the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls and is also doing her PhD. Graham Reed taught English foreign language in Saudi Arabia for many years and is now a publishing editor at NISC, which publishes academic journals here in Makanda. Francis Gordon became a legal plain language consultant and is also involved in content management. Maureen Chinya is a journalist and TV presenter. Jennifer Smith went into public relations. Shireen Stradom became the beauty editor of O Magazine, has worked in public relations and is a professional blogger and is director of her own company. Lee Crumble, is a marketing manager at Discovery Vitality. Tamara Nivot went into software development. Michaela Kurler became an English foreign language teacher in Japan. And Tracy Probert, one of our own lecturers and PhD scholars here in our own department, has written policies for the Department of Basic Education. So you can see from this that our own graduates end up in a wide variety of careers, and that because linguistics is about language and we use language every day, the tools you will learn in linguistics will be incredibly useful for your daily interactions for the rest of your working careers. To find out more about our department, I would advise you to get onto Are You Connected, find the linguistics page, click onto Linguistics 1, and go to our general information and notice board page, which will direct you to all the other modules. You can also visit us on our Facebook page or at the official webpage of the department on the Rhodes University website.